Hi, welcome back to Everyday Indian Cooking. Today again I am going to make a paratha recipe. This is paneer paratha. Again, this is one of the healthy paratha recipe. It's made of whole wheat flour and stuffed with paneer or cottage cheese. So let's see how to make paneer paratha. For paneer paratha, I have one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, two cups of grated paneer or cottage cheese. This is approximately six ounce. Some chopped cilantro or coriander leaves, two teaspoon of coriander and cumin powder, one four teaspoon of amchur or dry mango powder, one teaspoon of ajwain seeds, one teaspoon of grated ginger, three green chilies finely chopped. Okay, it's time to knead the dough. I'm going to put the flour inside the food processor. So today I'm going to show you how to knead the dough in the food processor. Usually I do it in my hand. But by doing this way, it's easier and convenient. So once you add the flour, you need to add some salt. Adjoin seeds. Drizzle some oil. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to make a... ready I added one cup of water for one and a half cups of whole wheat flour you can see this is nice and soft and it just took me not even a minute so I'll just take it out This is really quick and convenient. If you are in hurry, then you don't have to knead the dough with your hand. Just use the food processor and this will be done in no time. After you take it out from the food processor, just knead the dough for a couple of minutes. And then you can keep this aside for some time. So you can see this is nice and soft. I'm going to keep this dough for 10 minutes. In the meantime, we can start working on the stuffing. Let's make the stuffing. So I have this grated paneer here. I'm going to add coriander and cumin powder, dry mango powder, green chili, ginger, coriander chopped, salt now mix this stuffing nicely you can see this stuffing is nice and dry just check for salt so we can wait for five minutes and then start rolling the parathas it's been 15 minutes the dough was resting so now I'll just knead it one more time And divide this dough so depending on the paratha size you can make more or less parathas you also need some flour to dust Start rolling this. This ajwain seeds are really good for digestion. And now fill the stuffing. You need to fill a good amount of stuffing. So I added almost 3 tablespoons and now seal it nicely. Cover the edges. And 
now again you can start rolling don't roll it very thin make it slightly thicker so that you can get a nice bite of paneer this is ready I'm going to roll all paratas I'm going to show you one more time roll it nicely then add the stuffing this paratha is also enriched with good amount of protein cover the edge it nicely and now again start rolling I have a pan heating over here. I'm going to put this paratha. Turn this and you can add some oil or ghee. So I'll drizzle some oil and spread it nicely. Do it for the other side. And gently press this this is nicely done on both sides so I'm going to remove this on a plate you can serve paneer paratha as it is or maybe with some butter, chutney or tomato ketchup. Thanks again for being a part of this video. I'll see you soon in my next recipe.